Hello guys, this is Carlos Santana from CodeJobs. Welcome to a new video here in the channel. Uh, so with this video, I'm going to start a new course um, called Developing uh, New CMS from Scratch uh, with Node.js and Next.js. So basically on this course, uh, we are going to migrate the current uh, CMS that I developed. Um, to use Next.js, which is a React framework uh, for handling server-side rendering. Uh, but before jumping to the actual course, I want to mention that my book is available now um, on Pact, so you can get it from there. Right now it's only 10 bucks, um, and this offer is gonna over on September 28th. Um, so if you want the book, you can uh, buy it from here or also in Amazon, you have the Kindle version and the paperback version. So if you want to buy the book there, you can get it from there. Okay. Uh, this one is a repository I'm going to use for this course It's going to be new CMS with next. Um, eventually when we, um, uh, develop or grow, or we start growing more on this project uh, eventually I I'm going to move this repository for the to the official one new CMS uh, but right now we are work we are working here and um, please um, <clears throat> start the repository or make a fork so you can you can receive notifications when we make new changes okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder or a directory called new CMS with next. You can do with M MKD or directly on your computer. Um, and then we are going to create a package JSON file using npm init dash y. Okay. So that will create us this file. So in here we need to install some dependencies. So I'm going to start by installing the dev dependencies. So we need to install um, at bubble slash core, at bubble slash node, and at bubble slash preset amp, which are the new version of Babel, the version seven. Um, <clears throat> as you know, Babel node was included before on, on the Babel CLI package, but now it's like a separate. Okay, so let's install that. And after that, we need to install um, uh, our dependencies, regular dependencies, that we need to install at said slash next sas express next notes as notes as middleware React and React DOM. And after we install these packages in our package.json file, uh, we need to add three scripts. Okay, so now that we update this file, we need to create these three scripts. The first one is dev, which is <clears throat> is going to start uh, our application using Babel node uh, on the folder or directory source slash backend, and it's going to load the preset Babel preset M. Uh, as you know, the uh, last preset uh, ESLint 2015 is now deprecated so it's not going to work anymore. So we need to um, use a new version of this preset. Uh, the build version is uh, to do an actual build uh, from next, and the start is to start in production mode uh, for next. Um, in here, I'm going to make some changes. Just do a tell tour. Make this thing. Okay, so 
After this, we need to create a few folders. The first one is going to be source. Then inside, we need to create backend directory and frontend. So with this, I'm going to split completely or backend from or frontend. Um, OK, so the first thing we need to do is going inside our frontend um, directory. We need to create the next config file, which is this. So we're going to save this one on frontend as next.config. That yes. Um, so with this, we need to require uh, the next SAS package and then export it like with SAS, like this. I couldn't find a way to make it work with import. Um, I'm not sure why, but this is the way it works with next config.js. Also, this file is useful uh, when we need to uh, uh, modif modify some webpack configurations from for next, but right now we are going to do only this part. Uh, and then in the next applications, um, we need to create a folder called pages, uh, which are the pages we are going to uh, render uh, through Next.js. So I'm going to create my index page. So you need to save this this file index on source frontend pages index, and basically it's a very um, easy file. It's just a, a stateless component. Uh, it's this is React, and then we just import or CSS or SAS file, and then we export the index. Uh, if maybe you're wondering why we don't import uh, React here, and this is because all the files inside pages are handled by Next, so Next inside the framework imports React, so we don't need to take care about that, unless we create like separate components, but right now uh, it's not necessary. And then we need to create our CSS or SAS file on the same level, and I'm going to name it index.scss just we're going to do like red on the h1 and now we need to create a special file a special file for next it's called underscore inside pages it's called underscore document.js so basically here we import some components from next document like the document the head main and next script and we export uh, the class my document, where is uh, which is extended from document, and basically on our head this is like a regular head from HTML, but it's a component. So here we can specify our title and our style sheets. So in here, if you see, we are going we are um, specifying our uh, href from slash underscore next which is a directory that is going to be created automatically when we compile or the project with next um, and then in our body we need to put the main component and the next script so but these um, components are going to handle the content injection from the body okay after we do that um, the last thing we need to do is on the backend, uh, we are going to run um, Next.js using Express. So we need to save this file on backend, and then it's going to be index.ts. So this file is very, very straightforward. So on the first lines, we import Express, Next, and Pat. And then we get our environment. If the environment is different than production means development is going to be true. And then we need to define our next application. 
which using next we pass some options. The first one is def, which is a boolean uh, value to identify if it's uh, uh, dev or production. And then dir is the option to specify where is located or next application. So basically using path resolve, uh, we say that is one folder behind and then in a front end folder. After that, we need to um, get the handle, the next handle, uh, which is useful to um, handle all the traffic from Express to Next. And after that, we need to initialize our Next application and then run some methods like that prepare. And then in the promise, um, we create our Express application. Let this const app express. And then we send all the traffic through Node or to Express um, uh, to next application. So with app.get asterisk, we are sending everything to uh, next handle. Basically, we are sending the request and the response variables. And finally, we just do app.listen 3000, that is our port. And if there is some error, we throw the error. Otherwise, we just put some console there. And if we get some error trying to initialize our application, we are going to catch that error, display it, and exit the process. Okay, so once we do all this, all of this, uh, basically we need to do npm room dev. If you see now, it's running server on localhost 3000, and we have the compile done on next. And if you notice here on front end, we get automatically the folder that next, which is uh, generated by next. And now if you open your browser on localhost 3000, you will see that the application is working. Um, so also next includes um, like a React code loader inside. That means that if we update our application, automatically uh, the page is going to be refreshed without needed uh, or manually refreshing the page. So for example, if we go to page index and then we do new CMS updated and I save it, look here on the terminal. It says compiling and then we'll compile and then our page is gonna be updated uh, automatically. Well, uh, this is everything for the video. I don't want to do like large videos. Uh, I'm going to do one video um, in English and the other in Spanish. Uh, like one hour ago I just published the Spanish version of this video. So I would like to invite you to uh, follow our channel, subscribe our channel, um, also, if you want to join our Slack community, you can go to codejobs.com slash Slack. And then you can join our community. Basically, we are more than 700 people right now. Um, if you buy my book and you want to receive some uh, advices or you have some questions, I can um, answer those questions questions for you um, so you're welcome to join our slack with we, we do speak spanish uh, english sorry so you are invited to join okay thank you for your time and see you next time